Guys, today we're going to see how we can turn a regular shader into a stylized cell shaded like anime or tune shaded. So let's get started. So first just select your model and go to shading and then we're going to increase the size of the graph so that we have more room. So there's two nodes that are really important for cell shading. You have the shader to RGB node, which takes a shader node, like the principled B SDF, like the principled BSDF, and turns it into a color that you can use with things like the color ramp. And then of course the next one that's important is the color ramp. So we can plug the B principled B SDF into the shader to RGB, which will convert it to just a regular color. And then we can put it into the color ramp and put the color to there. And then we don't need the texture in there yet. And what this will do is it'll give us plain shading. And then what we can do is we can take this linear, which is the way it blends, and change it to constant. And this will make it either the one color or the other. So we can change it like this. Now we might have a little bit of an easier time if I adjust this to make it brighter. And then I can change the black to just a gray, and this can be our shadow. And then what we can do is we can go and sh search for a mix RGB. And then we can change this from mix to multiply, which is here. And we can plug the base color texture and the color ramp in, and then plug into the surface. And now we got our shaded model. Maybe I'll make this a little bit darker. I could also affect how bright the shadow is with this. Now there's a problem with using the principled BSDF and that is because it also has the highlights in it and not just the shadows. And now I had to adjust it to find a more obvious place for the effect but what might happen with this is because of the highlights you might see something like this where you, when you rotate or move around it, the shadow will change where it is and that's not realistic. So what you can use instead of the principled BSDF is the diffuse BSDF because this does not have any specular highlights built in. So I can just plug that in and maybe adjust so that we can see it. And now we shouldn't have any spots where the shadows change size and shape. All right, but now we want highlights maybe, depending on what we're shading this on. Like if you had hair, we'll probably want highlights on it. So how can we do that? Well, we'll start by copying the shader to RGB and color ramp and searching for a glossy BSDF plug it in there and then we'll copy the multiply and change it to add and add this to this and plug it into the surface. Now we want this gray to be changed to black so that it doesn't add any to the regular color. So now we only have the highlight and I can move this to change how bright the highlight is. But I still think this is too much. So what I can do is I can change the color on the glossy, make it darker, and that can reduce it. And then I can adjust it from here. Now if I want the highlight to change the brightness, I can change the factor on the add, make it darker or even brighter. Say about there. Now we have highlights. So now we have a cell shaded monkey head. So I can move this light around and you'll see it adjust this correctly. 
Now if you want an outline, you can just duplicate your mesh. Tab into edit mode. I guess I'll delete these eyes. And then I will hit Alt S to fan it up a bit and Control Shift N to recalculate the normals to make them backwards. And then I will go ahead and I will change the material to a new one. And here there's this back face coin and this will call the back faces. And I can just change the principal BSDF to an emission shader, which will be cheaper. And I can change, choose my color here. So maybe I'll go with a red and a bit darker, like so. And then maybe I'll make it a little smaller. This was Mr. TriPi, and thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to see more Blender videos. Thank you.